Now that's a fire. Whew, it got hot quick now. Happy Thanksgiving guys. So in this week's video, we're gonna be doing some smoked turkey legs over the fire and a couple of other fixings. Let's get it. So as you saw, I uh, dug the hole out down here and uh, got the you know fire contained in that one little spot. And the idea behind that is to keep my coals centralized because um, what we're going to do is build a tripod um, with our little tripod plate and uh, hang those turkey legs over the fire on the tripod. So I want my, my heat kind of centralized to come up in that one location. So um, I think that's going to be our best bet. So right now we're just burning down a bunch of wood to get a bed of coals going. And uh, then we'll throw some wood on there, get it smoking and get these legs on there. Okay, so apparently I used this axe in a manner it was not intended. What what do you mean it's not an axe? A shovel? Well maybe that's why it didn't work right. I think we can fix it though. Not perfect, but it's better. I was smart enough to save my uh, tripod poles from last time. So we got our uh, little tripod plate and chain. We're gonna have to make a couple uh, changes to make this thing work the way I want it to. Uh, to do the turkey legs and the green beans and everything but I still think I can make it work so uh, let's get this put together. So we've got our turkey legs. I've just got three turkey legs and uh, I brined these last night in just a basic salt brine. So uh, that should really help them kind of retain some of that moisture since they are gonna be just kind of hanging over the fire. And uh, so we got a good bed of coals going here. Let's get these things seasoned up and ready to hang. Okay, so I've only got an idea of how I wanna hang these uh, these legs up, but I want to, I know I want to tie them up first before I season them because I don't want to be wiping all my seasoning off. But I also have to make sure that my idea is going to actually work. So let's go ahead and get these, uh, these things kind of tied up and see if this idea works first. So what I'm doing is got this ball of uh, like baker's twine or whatever you call that. It's like cooking twine anyway. So I got that 
and I'm gonna make three the same length roughly because I've got to be able to hang these things the same height off of the fire but I also have to keep them separated you know I don't want them setting up against each other and one side of it not actually getting cooked so that's what we got to work on first okay so I got three of these the same length and I went ahead and uh, tied little knots on the end of them so it doesn't fray all out now let me show you what the idea is so my idea is to take this grill grate and be able to tie one of these along the grill grate so they'll be able to hang but the problem is I got to be able to hang the grill grate and keep it from tipping so I think I'm going to make a tie out point on each one and uh, tie this thing up to the chain all kind of um, clustered together at the top will it work no idea this is a test but uh, I kind of think it will so that's how we're gonna do it now so I, right now I'm gonna actually make one more of these I think and then I'll just tie these on all four corners of this and then uh, we'll see if that works if that doesn't work then we'll go to a plan B which I have no idea what that is yet make a simple little lark head and I'll come up through this little square here pretty simple pull this all back through like that you think it'll work leave a comment below those of you who watched last year's Thanksgiving video I'll link it in this card up here if you want to watch it that actually turned out really cool but you guys will know why this uh this string makes me a little nervous but I think that's gonna work I think I can just put that hook somewhere in there And I should be able to dangle my stuff right over the fire. Voila. Heck yeah. Man, I swear, somebody must have got a bunch of ammo. And uh, they got to make room for it. So they're burning up their old ammo. So I'm going to make three more of these. Just so I can dangle the, the uh, turkey legs. So that's pretty simple. Okay, like I said, these were brined last night and uh, brined all night. So I took them out and I dried them off 
and I got them all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and tie one up. Like I said, I did the slip knot thing on there. I'm going to just drop that over the bone here. And I think I should be able to just kind of cinch it up real tight with that slip knot. And that should hold it pretty good. So I've got three different kind of seasonings that I'm going to use today. One is the um, the garlic sriracha seasoning. I've got this brown sugar with wood fired garlic seasoning. And then I've got this Nashville hot chicken seasoning. So I think those are uh, a good diversity of seasonings to try out. So before I do that though, I'm going to just put a little bit of this olive oil on here and rub it around. So it'll kind of hold that seasoning on there a little better. Doesn't need a whole bunch, I don't think. Guess about it. Well, leave the lid off of it in case I need it again, huh? All right. What first? Let's try this first. Nashville hot, and we're going to coat them pretty heavy. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah? Alright. Alright, I'm going to get the rest of these coated up and let's get them over the fire. I got to go wash these hands. bad boy pulled up somewhere and locked down something like that <laughs> that's working like I wanted it to how cool was that that worked exactly like I wanted it to Okay, so if you can kind of see what I've done here, I've kind of took these logs and went around it and made sort of a uh, self-contained smoker box. Now I understand the top is letting the heat out, but in here, it's good and hot in there. And it's also creating its own smoke. Now I'll have to be careful and keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't flame up. And eventually those bottom logs will burn and it'll start to collapse down, but I'm hoping it'll last long enough to cook these uh, chicken or turkey legs if not I'll just take the grill grate down and put the grill grate over the fire and just kind of rotate them like that not a big deal if it doesn't work this way just thought it'd be a cool idea maybe it'll work so I got some green beans I actually uh, that thing started catching on fire a little quicker than I thought it would so I went and got my uh, a little spritzer bottle from the <laughs> Green Frog Saloon over there and sprayed it down and now it seems like it's doing pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just break these green beans up into a little smaller pieces. I got some uh, bacon to go in it and some fancy sea salt and black pepper and we'll put that stuff in there and then uh get that on the fire get it going because those can just simmer and cook it's, that's not a big deal 
and then here in a little while we're gonna uh, try out something that I haven't done yet and uh, make some hoe cake bread over the fire so fingers crossed that works I bought me a little cheap um, camping frying pan from Walmart so we'll try that out too Okay, so I was noticing, you know, obviously that you, I was getting more heat on the bottom than the top and I needed to kind of enclose it a little bit. So I went with the natural material and I just used some palm fronds on the top and uh, every now and then I'll just spritz the fire down there just a little bit and we're going to let this bad boy cook. Fire! Come on. Okay, so I've had to make an executive decision. I took my smoker down. I was just getting, it's getting too burned on the bottom of those chicken legs, which I was afraid that was going to happen, but who knows, you know, I, I don't know. I shouldn't have done it this way, I guess, but it was worth a try. So what I've done is I've banked the fire around it, and I'm starting to cook them that way. It seems like they're cooking a little bit better that way. And I keep spinning them, but uh, if, if it doesn't go better in just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put them on that grill grate. That's all I know to do now. Now I see in hindsight where my mistake was. I should have never, I should have never built those coals up on the bottom like that. I should have built my fire all the way around it right from the beginning. Um, that way it would have heated from the outside in instead of going up. Uh, that was a mistake, but it happens. Well, I wouldn't be a very honest person if I didn't show you the wins and the losses, would I? I don't know. I don't know if they can be retrieved. What I've done is I've set it up on my trivet. I've got the grill on there, and I'm cooking, like, uh, the bone end first and seeing if it'll meet it in the middle. I don't know. I've kind of, I've pretty well screwed them up. But, who knows, maybe I can retrieve them. Well, it looks like we're having two turkey legs. I'll turn my back for just a second. And Mick takes off with one of the turkey legs and gnaws it up. I'm so freaking mad right now. Okay, so I got my cornmeal mixed up with my. I use warm milk. I like it better. So I got my cornmeal mixed up with my warm milk and that self-rising cornmeal. I'm gonna put some, a little bit of salt in there. And some pepper. I know a lot of people 
do hoe cake bread and stuff differently. This is how I like to do it. I literally just figured out how to make it come out the way I wanted it to. So, see, it's kind of fluffy. Like that. All right, let's get our frying pan on the fire and see how it does. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. I almost let that ruin this for me. But you know, that in itself should uh, should make me think about the things that I'm thankful for. Now, that aggravated me, it really did. But I've got so many other things to be thankful for that, you know, that is just, it's so minute in the grand scheme of things. There's so many people out there that won't have anything for Thanksgiving or for Christmas coming up. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very thankful for everything that I've got. I'm very thankful for my relative help. You know, a lot of people have a lot worse than me. I've got a beautiful wife. I've got a successful business. And, uh, you know, growing YouTube channel. I'm really thankful for all you guys that watch and subscribe. Do me a favor. In the comments below, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thankful for. And you know, sometimes it takes something like that to kind of bring it back into perspective. That was a stupid thing to get upset about. That hoe cake bread, very, very good. It's basically cornmeal, warm milk, salt and pepper, and I cook it in butter. Mm. The edge of it's really crispy. Let's jam up. The green beans look good. Get me a little of those. Old piece of hoe cake bread. Now these uh these turkey legs, they look pretty pathetic to be honest with you. The two I got left anyway. They look pretty pathetic but you know like I always say it can't always be a win so let's uh let's cut into them at least to see what they taste like I know they're probably gonna be overcooked and dry I think that goes without saying but let's see let's see exactly how bad we did right Well, that one looks pretty rough on the outside, but on the inside it doesn't look that bad.
Oh man, that's the sriracha. Oh yeah. Man, that is good. And it's actually not that dry. The outside's kind of dry. But the inside of it's not dry at all. It's actually really good. Wow. That freaking sriracha is good. You know, I have no idea which one the dog got. It wasn't the sriracha. <laughs> I know that much. So let's see what this other one was. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad on the inside. Just that outside is real crispy. But it's very flavorful. Okay, so that is the uh that's that sweet and smoky or the the sweet one the hick, hickory sweet i can't remember now but that's the sweet one that was really good too oh yeah okay so not a total loss it's actually not bad at all Just kind of get those hard pieces off the outside. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Now. Let's try these green beans. Can't hardly go wrong with green beans, right? Yeah, I love those fresh green beans with the bacon in there. And uh, cook them over fire and let them simmer for all afternoon over the fire. Man, they are good, really good. Piece of that hoe cake bread, get me some of that juice out of there. Hmm. Very, very good. Well guys, I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving today. And uh, I hope the rest of this year and next year will be awesome for you as well. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. I know there are things that I didn't do right in this video and that's okay. Um, but I'm thankful for the things that I did do right. And um, I'm thankful that it all turned out, you know, okay. So. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching all these videos and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for me if you enjoyed this video hit that like button for me and share this video with your friends and uh, leave me a comment below let me know what you think so appreciate you watching this video again I'll see you next time